live from Austin, where you slap your secretary's ass just as Justin always suggests. And a candy bar is named after a film in which Diane Keaton has risky rough sex. It's going to be a great night. Now, do you need a side of justice? Because you're not pooping me, I'm pooping you. And here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Okay, let's go to one. Here we go. Two, Here we go. Three, four. No, 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 no. Oh. Come on, come on. Look, I, we rehearsed all weekend long for this. Ready? We did. <clears throat> uh, Bryce, I believe you have the music. <clears throat> uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I totally have that music. Here we go. Please press play on the music. Yeah, right. We're and we're playing music in back three. Back to one. Back, back to one. To, okay. Back to all one. Right, all right, Ready and three. As you remember, yep. you worked on two bees coming to life. Without air, <laughs> we don't live. That's right, Bean. Oh my God, we're at college now. Yes, we got in. We're both socioeconomics majors. Oh my God, I'm halfway through my thesis now. I've met the love of my life. Oops, she died of leukemia. <laughs> I'm forming a company. It's called the Mr. Goodbar Corporation. I'm forming a company. It's called Microsoft. <laughs> oh, well... We can't both put those in computers. No, I must kill you, Bean One. <laughs> oh, I am dead, or am I? I have been replaced with cybernetic parts. <laughs> oh no! Linux Your OS news. attack! Oh no! Jeez! With, I'm with peanuts. No, my only refuge is to make people like me with Jerry Seinfeld commercials. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, now I'm going to give money to charity. Oh. I've never been more powerful. Oh, no. The, I uh, give my power to you, Elon Musk. Hello. I make cars, I think. I don't know. My only weakness <laughs> is my friendship to Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> I own Twitter now. Oh no! I'm Wait, kind of I'm fan. sorry. My weakness is I own Twitter now. No! <laughs> <laughs> and we return to where we started okay. as two oh, small God. beans. Oh. All right. All right. Here we are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bryce, do you have a first story? <laughs> yeah. We're going to lay on the ground because we're just two small beans now. We're, we're, this all right. is all in, in universe. This is all part this of the show. This is all part of it. This is our shared this dying vision. Shared... Mr. Goodbar. Yes. And, <laughs> yes. and Bill Gates. And Bill yeah. Gates. Hey, and what okay. happened to your wife? Never, she, never it mind. Seems like you guys got along for a bit, but now no. She didn't like my friend. Oh, who's your friend? Never you mind. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, what's the first topic? Our first topic. Jerky ham beef. Oh my God. Hey man, Bill, Bill Gates. It's what? me, Mr. Goodbye. Oh, hi, your Mr. Good Goodbye. Your good friend. I'm very excited to see you <laughs> extending this bit. Yes. <laughs> Within the universe that we've created, yeah. what's going on? What's up with <laughs> him? <laughs> I. What I really want to know, hold on, I don't know if I just said that clearly. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I got it. Uh, you want to know what's up with... <laughs> Talk about laying down. What's on the job. up with him? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> everybody was eat, wanting to eat ham on Thanksgiving. Oh, what the fuck's up with that, Bill Gates? Why is that the case? Well, I, I don't thought, know. I'm asking was... a general question. Don't, don't what? Think... What the hell? It's a turkey. Based holiday, what? it's around everything. It's the only reason why we trace our fucking hands. They, you don't trace a, a, a ham hand; you trace a turkey hand. I Hold on, <laughs> like, I like, and yet everybody, the people that we were going to Thanksgiving dinner with, they, they, they only made ham. They didn't make any turkey. So I made a fucking turkey because I felt obligated for us to do it. Well, I mean, they do call it Turkey Day, right? Yes. Yeah, so and and also hands do look like turkeys, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what up, Pam? 
That's my point. <laughs> What up? But I, I'm not saying it in a friendly way. I'm saying it like angry, like Ice Cube would say it in a in a movie in the '90s. Oh, I don't remember that movie. I, uh, in fact, let me go back and remember it right now. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that go? <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, it was great. So I. Uh, the Did hero. you have this thing that? <laughs> oh wait, no. You wanted to keep talking about the memory no, of your movie with Ice Cube. I mean, so, yeah, sorry. I feel I, was, I feel like we had gotten everything out of it. But if you really, want to go for I was more, really hoping that Bill Gates would do like an impression of Ice Cube <laughs> talking about him. Oh, Are you Bill yeah. Gates? I can uh, just go along with it. Uh, so, uh, uh, oh, you want me to? All right. Uh, um, <clears throat> oh, we I, got a problem, Ham. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we do. Oh, you want a scene? <laughs> you don't just <laughs> you don't just want an impression. You want an improv. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm just trying to fill in the gaps. I really just want to get to this thing where, like, why did Ham become exactly? <laughs> okay, all right, we're back to Mr. Goodbar. Why and Bill did Gates. why did Ham become a thing that people wanted to eat instead of turkey on Thanksgiving? Number one, did you notice this phenomenon? Uh, I I, I think no, I did not. Uh, but I suspect because Tom told me our friend Tom Merritt said that he was only making ham because a bunch of youngsters were over for Thanksgiving and that's what they wanted to eat. They didn't want to eat turkey. They only wanted to eat ham. Youngsters love it every time you start a sentence with the only reason I'm. <laughs> what ends that sentence? I mean, whatever, whatever pleases the dipshits. The youngsters? Yeah. So if you're like, the only reason why I'm uh, using safe search on this browser <laughs> is because so you, you youngsters are here. Habits. Yeah. Yeah. No, that tracks. The only reason I'm. Curing malaria is so that I have more people to work at Microsoft. Exactly. All right. You should meet my friend, Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Stand up, please. Please stand up. All right. Uh, I, I, wanted, I wanted to, I wanted do, to do, do more. Do you have beef with ham? I do. Ham beef. Go. No, it's a it's a it's a it's a fucking turkey based holiday. I I I don't underappreciate nor do I cotton to the idea that ham is gonna take over this fucking corner of our of our cultural gestalt. Get the fuck out. Christmas ham. Okay. There's a holiday mm. right down the fucking road where Christmas ham Christ is. Christmas a thing. is is roast beef. What Easter okay. has ham. Easter is ham too. That's fine. I'm I'm fine with it wherever you want to put it. But just don't try to sub it out as the main meat on Thanksgiving. And we were talking about this earlier. Someone's like, oh, ham's a better meat than turkey. Get the fuck out. I don't give a shit if it's a better meat than turkey. Fucking pussy's better than birthday cake. Doesn't mean that you get that every time that they fucking turn the calendar. Okay, hold on. I think you're onto something. <laughs> Maybe we petition like I'm just saying Congress. That you can't always get everything you want. There's certain things that bind us culturally to the years. Otherwise, we come unmoored from all of our traditions and cultures, and we go flying out into space. We have no relationship with our ancestors, and we're just lost in the fucking mist. And that's why you need fucking turkey on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm kind of a fan of like uh, Vulcan Earth, where pussy is the <laughs> the national dish. But that's only every seven. That's years. that birthday. Oh, that, you know what? Yeah. Oh shit! Happy I, I just got birthday <laughs> to you! How and... did you fit that many candles? <laughs> that's hold, on, joke hold on, hold on, your brain. Ba Battle Royale, uh, <laughs> beef, chicken, turkey. Uh, ham, who wins round one? Beef and chicken, turkey, Beef, ham. Beef, chicken, turkey, ham. Yeah. I mean, uh, turkey's going out on the first. Beef over chicken. Wait, sure. so you admit yeah. that turkey is the worst of those four? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Of course. Yeah. Wow. I'm Wait. not. I'm not a fucking idiot. Wait, like, hold so on. you just you, but you hate your you like. At hating no, yourself. No, this is a thing that we do. You turkey like torturing is, yourself with the is, food you is, don't is like. The least of those four, mostly because there's only so many ways you can make turkey. Like you can How make many ham, ways? you can make oh, I don't know, probably five. <laughs> there are <laughs> and five you can trace ways them. to make a turkey. Yeah. <laughs> Just get all the cloak, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it a scratch, Jack. <laughs> you don't need to be fried. <laughs> A you felt you flew too close Clyde. to the sun. Yep. Uh, you don't need me, fried, Clyde, Clyde yeah. to get back to me. Yeah. Anyway. You don't need to get plucked. 
<laughs> He's going for another one. <laughs> He's going for another one. Oh, oh come on. There's oh, no, something there. I don't know. It is, yeah. I just, like, I, A, I don't know that many ways to cook turkey. That's the <laughs> yeah. whole point of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it is. But, like, you can, you only eat it once a year. There's not many times that I'm like, oh, I want a turkey sandwich. Like, you don't got to get baked, get... Jake. Yeah. That's all I got. Yeah. Big Jake. So anyway, anyone I, else? Fuck ham. Yeah. I, fuck. I, my only argument of on having Thanksgiving, turkey, having turkey on other times of the year is it's so cheap, and so then you can be creative with slutty it and really try it's the sluttiest of meat. Try some shit out. Yeah, it's the sluttiest of. I think it's yeah. Oh damn! Turkey is what the up, sluttiest my guy? of the meat. My God, my God. I take your seconds. Look yeah. at look at these chicken wing, chicken I wing dinner thing. I oh. swear I've never done this before. Yes, you're my stepbrother. That's right. This me in my Jeez. cavity. Aging Doctor Froud. <laughs> Aging Doctor Froud. <laughs> Doctor Fowl. Yeah. I don't even care if you use lube or not. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing the thread here. Just <laughs> sorry. My first time was this with 14 <laughs> people in Massachusetts. This is too close to a conversation I had with my nephew earlier this week. So, uh... hey, Bryce, next topic. <laughs> World Cup bar salads and scrambled eggs. <laughs> um, Brian. Th the this World one Cup. is a little bit meta because I feel like. Cup. <laughs> because I feel like we should tell the story of when I, uh, you know, came into the room and, and I think and, oh, we did in the in the pre-show. So you yeah, can listen okay, to it on the right. pre-show. But uh, 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 anyway, uh, USA beat Iran. 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 Yeah, no. The, the, there was a journalist who actually yelled at one of our. I think it was our team captain for mispronouncing the team's uh, uh, or, or the country's name. It, it's Iran. Iran. Not Iran. No. I Iran, Iran. Which I only know because I watch enough caricatures of Iranians in pro wrestling who overpronounce Iran that I know that it's that. Yeah. Uh, so the Iron Sheik taught me how to not get yelled at by the Iranian press. Uh, so our Iranian I'm, press. I'm practicing to eat healthy for a month, and that means that basically. Uh, I'm at least showing up to places that will have healthy salads and all that stuff. So I'm like, oh, salad, salads. Who has salads? As Bryce said, everyone. Everyone. Uh, no. But yeah. in my mind, I heard the park in South Lamar. <laughs> so I, I go, go in. Very, very busy. At oh, two, that's where you went. 2.30 p.m. on a, on, on a Monday morning yeah. or, or Tuesday afternoon. Um, and uh, uh, so I walk in. Loudest thing I've ever heard was, uh, like, it, it's weird because I walked in and it felt like nobody was there. And then suddenly, suddenly it was, it was a, a, a firestorm of noise. Uh, and then I'm like, I would like a salad. And, and I pulled out my phone to play Marvel snap. And I realized the world cup was on and it was USA versus Iran. And, uh, Iran. uh Iran. and then uh, Iran. I, I, I saw how excited everyone was. I was like, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll give this a go. Uh, apparently I missed the best part of the game. Best part of the game throughout the three games that were played. Uh, the U.S. for the first time in my lifetime has a player who is a nameable player in a league like overseas. Roy so Kent. This dude, Christian Pulisic, much in the same way that Roy Kent is that guy on uh, Ted Lasso. Christian Pulisic is that for, I believe, Chelsea in the club leagues in, in the English Premier League. And so now he's American. He's playing for the American team. This is his time to shine. And he scores the decisive, as we eventually found out, goal. However, he greatly sacrificed something. Bryce, do we have a picture? Uh, we just got a, a real, a real quick, a real quick little clip here. Yeah, here we go. Fair use, people. So he kicks it in, and then boom! <laughs> Wait, a knee right in the nuts. This oh, dude wait, sacrificed. Who's that dude laughing at him the moment he goes down? And it cuts to some dude cackling. <laughs> like, <laughs> he got the goal. So he gets the goal. He kicks the ball in. Look, the goalie stopped two out of three balls. <laughs> 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 he just missed the one he needed to get. 
The other two, he very much got. And initially, I thought, uh, I'm, I'm so used to everybody calling it football that I assumed it was a concussion because that dude laid there. And by the way, he came back into the game as a hero at halftime. He went to the fucking hospital. Like, he had to get, he got kneed in the nuts so fucking hard that he had to go to the hospital. Okay. Uh <laughs> So, so, so I, I am not a uh, aficionado of, of, of football, as it's called internationally, but, but yeah. there was definitely near the end, of, I, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes till the end of the game, a moment that like somebody like half-heartedly kicked a ball into the USA goal. The goalie catches it and is about to throw it and then remembers that he wants to run the clock out. And then he hugs the ball and, and lays falls down, down. Yes. <laughs> and just like, oh, I barely caught it. It, it, it was extraordinary. Uh, yeah, no, it actually reminded me that uh, back earlier in our marriage, uh, uh, a way that yours I would and used I, to, a way, a way that uh, I would used to make uh, 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 my wife know that I was done arguing with something is I would just lay down, face down <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Because I was hoping to run out the time on the argument, sure. and that's what he was doing. He, said he would just see an Iranian player running up, and he would just go, "No, I'm gonna lay down. <laughs> just lay down with the ball in his in his chest until the other guy left." And he's like, "Okay, now I kick." Uh, well, so so I had to run to uh, Andrew Heaton's place to do an episode of uh, alienating the audience, and on on my way, I was like, "Well, shoot, I kind of want to know how everything wrapped up." So I I just found a bootleg YouTube stream. And all of a sudden, I'm listening to, like, old-timey radio football. And boy, oh, boy, is it fun to listen to a whole game where nobody completes a sentence. They're like, he's got the... And it's... Ho! Oh, oh, there he is! <laughs> have you ever got need that hard in the nuts? We're looking at a picture oh, yeah, of that all, all the rest of everybody. What's the hardest you got hit in the nuts ever? Second grade, full-on swift kick in the, like, like... This is before you even know that it's a problem. Yeah. You're like, what's this? And so you just kind of square up with your <laughs> legs wide, like, what's up? And then somebody, you know, gets in a karate stance. So you were inviting it? Oh, no. I, I didn't know it at the time. I didn't know what the penalty was. I, I didn't know what they were getting ready to do. Yeah. And then they kick. And, and because there's that delay, yes. second grade, I'm just like, uh, I don't know. It's like a moment out of Indiana Jones. I'm like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. See that that's still it. Like you didn't get like 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 an errant No, like, I cause, learned because you turns also out I through, learned my lesson. But but you also went through like raising three kids. That's the other thing that with kids, right? Cuz like like they're they're always swinging hands and Wimble shit ball, like, like, they, they, like like you might you might just get an errant clip of the nuts at any moment, right? You got to have your head on a swivel. Yeah, but increasingly every time that would happen, like the rest I I had a team to cheer for me where they were like, "Oh, don't do that joyful uh, federal agent Bryce Castillo Brushwood. Don't the name of your dog. Yeah. Don't do it the dog. Yeah. Okay. Or or kid or neighbor. Yeah. Or neighbor. wife. <laughs> A lot of people hit me almost in the, in trying the sack. To, I'm saying. Yeah. But yeah, you had to have gotten your fair share of nut clippings, which are almost as bad as square yeah. on hits the to the nut. The grazing right? is the worst because yeah. you get none of the credit because everybody winces when you get squared right in the in the in the in the yeah. spheres. Yeah. Squared in the spheres, squared bad in scene. the spheres, <clears throat> not but, for mirrors. But 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 when it looks like nothing happened, everyone's like, I don't know. And of course it hits you later, right? So it's it like, just like whoosh, and you're like, everything, oh dear. The shadow cut. <laughs> just you're just like 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 oh, uh, why oh you just need to start talking like Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Can, can, can we take a moment? Uh, so it hurts so bad. How many people? Hands up if you guys are watching White Lotus right now, season two. Nobody. No hands from the audience. Literally no hands. Okay, all right. Well, I'm watching it. Oh, you really missed it out. It's just a great show. It's a great show. It's just, it's like the Christ, writing another story. is so good. Our next story is... <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to dance around the nature of why Bonnie was upset. Yeah. <laughs> good start. But she was very upset. Like red, red, red hot, like oh stomping gosh. mad. Like, like so upset that between a one and Yosemite Sam, <laughs> how mad was she? 
Foghorn Leghorn. All right. I so not see very man. Uh, you weren't there. Uh, <laughs> so so she's listing off. Uh, okay, so we're in a. Uh, there's something wrong, and and she's she's collecting her thoughts. That first of all, hands start off flat, then they begin to curl in, like like like, I don't know. Uh, uh, somebody's squeezing your your. Uh, uh, tendons, right? And, yeah, and then yeah. They, no, no, they, no. They, you, they you're, you're, you are gripping your fingers, yeah. And then they come up to her face, and her yeah. face is a, a mask of rage. Okay. And so she decides to explain, let me explain. First of all, and so there are two different ways to count. There's uh, what I think of as the American way, index finger first, one, yeah. middle finger second, yeah. and then ring finger third, yeah. with, with you pinching one, two, three, right? Then there's uh, uh, like if you were to flip it out where the your palm would be out, it would look like the ultimate peace sign, right? Or 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 that you wanted to take a free panem uh, uh, in the Hunger Games, sure, right? Yeah, right. So, um, uh, but she does the more traditional international symbol of thumb out first, then second finger of the index finger, then the third, the middle finger. So one, two, three, right? Yeah. But but her face is a mask of rage. So for the first time, I was very confused because I don't know what she's about to lay down in front of me. But but imagine a very angry face and then a thumbs up. <laughs> like, like, there's so many reasons for me to be mad. <laughs> the thing that is the funniest about this is that knowing both you and Bonnie, one of your, your connections as humans is that you are often prone to be derailed in the thought that you had. And right. so in my mind, as you're describing this, Bonnie is very mad consistently, but also is either explaining for a long time the first thing that she's <laughs> mad about or has lost her train of thought and then is just looking very mad with a thumbs up. With the thumbs up. But either, right. but either way, it is still like, it's not like, oh, like one, uh, uh, because of the continental drift. <laughs> Two, right. because of overpopulation. <laughs> Three, don't get me started on fracking. Like, like it's not, it's not like that. It's just like one. <laughs> I'm the maddest person saying thumbs up ever. Even worse than that is our tendency to, uh, much much like uh, all of us do here on this program, uh, for me to give notes while it's happening. <laughs> like she she was in the middle of a rage face and a thumbs up. And, and I was you start like cackling and explaining yes. how funny she looks. Yes. Which yes. I'm sure is exactly what she wanted to Turns hear. Turns out she had four things to be mad yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> and if you kept talking shit, the pinky was going to get involved. Yeah. Uh, Bryce! Yeah. Good what times. Up? Here's our next topic! My hair is not blank. I don't know what to do with this. Uh, so, I've been around on the internet for a hot minute. 14 years, 14 years, 14 years plus. And you've been a internet celebrity. Put myself out there, right? Uh, so uh, YouTube gets embedded 2005. I started in 2006. I guess, that, yeah, you would say that, that I've been on the internet in the same way that somebody would say, like, I've been in this town of Hollywood for 25 years. But and, like, but instead, we're on the internet. Well, and there's some nasty rough and tumble rules to being on the internet, there right? Are, yeah. Including, like, you put yourself out there. That means anybody could carve out any picture and make any meme they want. Especially um, in our in our profession, where like we are inviting anybody to make any meme that they want at any time, throw it in the chat room. This is pre Discord, even where like now things get saved and archived more. Well, and there are certain parts of it that I think are totally fair game. It's like uh, wh whatever anybody wants to says says to me uh, <laughs> is fine. Um, uh, Bryce, do you have a photo of what I'm teeing up? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but what I didn't expect is that. A second generation internet person, like like Josie, Bonnie was pregnant. Your with daughter, Josie, yeah, my daughter, uh, who's fifteen now. When when I originally pitched Scam School, and then she was like uh, six months old when we had the first episodes of Scam School. She eventually was on the Scam School channel uh, under Scam Nation, um, and now she's at that age where. People just find things, and I don't know if she's looking for it or what, but I know she's at school when out of nowhere, with no preamble whatsoever, she sends me the following screenshot. Have you seen this, Brett? Uh, now I have. 
<laughs> so it is a, a quick meme.com template of uh, Brian Brushwood with spiky hair. Yeah. And it says, my hair is not gay. <laughs> um, which, uh, lots to unpack there. Where, yeah. where, where it's like... Uh, uh, and she found it hilarious. Correct. And uh, uh, first of all, she didn't give me any context when she sent it to me. I just responded, responded with ha ha ha. And, and, and for context, for even people who are watching this, the picture she sent you was of a screen that had the Google image search. So like this was found in a Google. Somebody image searched search. Brian Brushwood. Yeah. And one of the top responses was my, my hair, hair is, is not, not gay. gay. Right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so I responded with a ha ha ha. And she said, uh, let me get this right. Um, uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, ha ha ha. She said, this is the best thing ever. Uh, which I, I don't know about that. But uh, is is there a, a more right response I should have given <laughs> besides ha ha ha? That's where we want to go with this. I, I mean, you tell me. I, I, I don't know what we to want, do with We want to critique that. the back and forth between you and your daughter. I mean, I think anything is, is I mean, it, it's a pure and beautiful moment where she is finding artifacts and shards of your career that are lying throughout the rubbing them in my face and finding it hilarious that <laughs> i'm laughing at them you're ascribing a lot of motivation to yeah i don't know yourself. i don't know about rubbing i think she, she found a, a shard of an explosion that you were a part of oh so many years ago and she's coming up to you and saying oh my god isn't it amazing this shard still exists i guess found what it. i'm seeking is a little bit of validation in terms of like what other options for responses are there besides ha 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 as a dad new, new phone been... who did <laughs> <laughs> God damn it that would have been better no i mean like i i think i think there's there's nothing like like that is like, like it's what you said a you're you're correct to understand that this is an amazing career that you've had and and your daughter found a part of it and yes it is obviously a little dated i don't know if anybody would be calling hair gay or not in the year of our lord 2022 about to be 2023 uh but even then that proves that like sealed in time this was from a bygone era where that kind of slap nut humor uh, uh was was a part of the repertoire i guess the best part was that she responded with like this is the best thing ever and not I'm so ashamed of, you know, I, I, I don't know what it, but no, I guess it was all good. It write it out. What was that horror text you were yeah, expecting? Let, 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 What's the right, worst here. thing let's, that you expected? Let's, let's take it back. I'm, I'm you, you're Josie. Oh, Christ. Uh, uh, and now you do the worst case happening? scenario. This is the worst case scenario. You do, you, <laughs> right, so yeah. you are evil, okay, Josie. Okay, and hold I on. am uh, Brian. <clears throat> uh, uh, um, uh, I wonder where I can get a salad. Yeah, I, you, just need to, I need to eat a salad <laughs> right now. And where ready should to I go? Have the bowling out. alley? Doo -doo -doo. Oh, Doo -doo -doo. Maybe not that. Maybe. A, oh, hold on. I'm getting a text. Oh, my uh, middle daughter. Oh, <laughs> Josie Brushwood. What a what a what an uh, adorable scamp. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just looking at the waiter here at the salad restaurant. I just got <laughs> a text from my middle daughter. And I, Meanwhile, boy, USA I is wait. up against Iran. USA scored a goal against Iran. Oh, enough about you, sucker hooligans. <laughs> I'm going to sit down and read this. Bing! <laughs> what does it read? My hair is not gay. <laughs> My hair is not gay. <laughs> and it's a picture of a meme of me saying my hair can is you, Can you imagine? I, I guess gay. I'm doing the old man thing of like, like, can you imagine 30 years ago uh, sending this to your parents? A picture of them with... Eh. Well, I mean... Can you believe you did this, Dad? <laughs> well, I... <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> That's two home runs for Bryce today, by the way. <laughs> two dingers. <laughs> Round the bases. He's just got your fucking number, man. Like, you're just throwing junk, and he is taking it yard. Yes. <laughs> Serving it up, Brian. Bryce. Hi. Do you have another story? <laughs> 
Ashley Paramore reviews the hunt. Oh, yeah, this is good. So, I know. My wife's named Ashley Paramore. Yeah. It's not a fake name, it's her real name. So, uh, a lot of people think it's a, like a stage name. It's not. Brett, do you have an iOS phone? Uh, no, I'm poor. Okay. <laughs> you, Android. All right. Uh, so, uh, uh, things that happen, uh, you, you, you can put a little top spin on a comment with a thumbs up, a thumbs down, exclamation points, a question mark, a heart, that kind uh -huh. of thing. Uh -huh. Ha ha. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, and all of those happen kind of quietly in your text thread. Uh, I, I, I have a watch that is designed for poor people phones, Android phones. Um, and uh, uh, what it does is it translates like so-and-so emphasized an image or so-and-so hearted an image or whatever. Uh, a thing I had never seen before was this message, uh, Bryce. <laughs> Ashley Paramore removed a heart from an image. So apparently what happened, do you remember what image it was? Oh, yeah. What was it? Bonnie put up the the box fucking dinosaur. Oh yeah. So you guys inflated the dinosaur, the that, diplodon uh, that, I, that, 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 that I bought for you guys during an episode of this show. Yep. Uh, uh, Excelsior true believers go listen to <laughs> night attack episode. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, 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 yeah. there. So, so there's, there's, uh, uh, we were looking for the dumbest inflatable that you could possibly have. And there's one where there's to, a to dinosaur. replace the dragon that they were asking us to take down. So there's a dinosaur in a Santa outfit that, is holding a package, but he's holding it right over his dick. <laughs> and so, especially when it sways, it looks like it's fucking the box, right? In a box. Uh, and so, exactly. You yeah. guys have uh, uh, inflated it yet again. Yep. It is back live. In, so, in, uh, like in your yard. What What I assumed happened was I can tell you. I can tell you for okay. a fact what actually. Please, happened. please. So, it's in a group chat between the four of us. Everybody is ha-haing or harding it. Uh, Ashley forgot that she had reacted to <laughs> it. And so she saw it again and was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. I'm going to heart it. Not realizing that by double tapping and harding it, she was removing Moving. the heart that she had already put on. And then and all then of us... You <laughs> Get no, no, because everybody else that happens in the background on iOS, like right. you don't, you don't see the, the 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 history of it. You only knew it because your watch is getting the Android version of what is happening, and it's that Ashley Paramore removed a heart from an image, for which you immediately took a photo of and then put it in uh, the group chat. It was uh, at, at which point, uh, Ashley wisely responded with the Homer Simpson receding into a bush gif. <laughs> And uh, I, I responded not with hearting it, but instead responding with Brian removed a heart from this image. Yes. <laughs> uh, and that's my new favorite thing is, is removing hearts. My favorite thing is getting money. No. It's the reason for the season, Brian. <laughs> it, sorry? Yep. The holidays are here. Sorry? And that's why at MCI, we have... <laughs> In fact, no, here, do the Patreon yeah, no, thing. Yeah, yeah, do, do, do the Patreon thing as an MCI thing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. We 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 we, we have we have rediscovered how awesome Man uh, Mannheim Steam Steam Rollers, <laughs> a fresh air Christmas from 1993 is. Uh so here we go. Let's let's uh, go to go <clears throat> the top. Here we go. Miracles, Christmas, white people, <laughs> they were all possible if you dream. Here at MCI Worldcom, we present to you the future of Christmas, virtual. No more presents, no more deliveries, boxes, flat, flappy pooches. <laughs> they were all possible. Patreon. <laughs> we go now to NASA's chief scientist. <laughs> Wait, 
Patreon.com slash great night. <laughs> you. Christ said to the wise men, come back when you have a Patreon. <laughs> and the wise men said, oof, sick burn, bro. <laughs> And thus they walked all the way to patreon.com slash great night. <laughs> the land of hooray. <laughs> Where you can get bed. <laughs> and, and every week. Uh, listen to a bonus. Bonus. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Take a. Uh, no, hold on. <laughs> just, 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 wait. Just, just, just wait. There we go. Yeah. Okay. You don't need to be a lonely orphan with rickets anymore. Here at patreon.com slash great night, we have the cure to everything. Like diseases or? <laughs> big, big ending, big ending, big ending. Oh, big okay. Beginning. Patreon.com slash great night. Listen to Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Also, Bones is the name of the bonus episode. Yeah, I oh. think they, that's understood. <laughs> that, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's going to be a visual thing. When we do the animation, that's going to be a big visual thing. Bones equals bonus episode. <laughs> <laughs> I just love. All right, no, hold on, hold on. I just, I'm gonna go back to this well, and I know that I'm gonna fucking regret it. It's the best, it's the best no, no, thing no, no, okay, I right, just right. need, I just need you to do the intro because yeah. there's nothing funnier to me than you doing the intro okay, to, at right. MCI World okay, Cup. All right, here we go. Space. <laughs> <laughs> medical malpractice lawsuits <laughs> and honor okay These no, are come on like, if you're gonna do it you got it you got to come with okay. the gravitas because okay. okay. that's because like that, that's it you you had to be like space okay. medical malpractice lawsuit like, like you got you got to have that fucking because you had it man don't give in to these fucking people that are smiling at you well, you don't need their fucking gratitude the fake smiles you're here for the fucking art oh my god what the fuck are you what doing he's this? pouring all of his beer into a gigantic stein that has Why the fucking gold chain in it. Well, okay. oh, oh, because the chain this is, is very dirty. It's it's disgusting. It's fucking filthy. All right, All right. here it's we ready. here it's we go, ready. here we go. Three, two, one. You better fucking hype train for this. Medicine, symmetry, calculus. All of this and so much more is possible when you give us all your money. Hello, I'm MCI. <laughs> in cooperation with my friend Worldcom, we've created the ultimate in intersexual satisfaction. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> And here comes. Oh here my here goodness comes gracious! Here comes my train. Here it comes. <laughs> Dear keep me. Keep going for the love of God. Keep going. <laughs> it's working. They're hype training. They really are. Cloth spins. <laughs> oh fuck. Bulldog oh. clips. <laughs> God damn it. Frustration and shame. <laughs> All these and so much more are possible for children everywhere. <laughs> All right, Balenciaga. Calm down. <laughs> Fuck me. There we go. Please don't drink that. <laughs> Please don't drink that. You want me to fix that for you? All right, what, what, what is the problem here? No, that's... Oh, yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Problem solved. Somebody get me another one. Thank of you, that. patrons. I'm, yeah. No, not you. You're on the fucking show. Somebody who's not on the show, please. <laughs> Somebody who's your nephew. Bro. Right, you're not the gopher. You're, I'm not? No, you're the I, color commentary. Intersexual satisfaction. <laughs> we want to go back. Okay. What was that? I just love <laughs> the idea of the improv bit being a uh, uh, word. Word. Another word. <laughs> Here at MCI World Cup. <laughs> it's just fucking oh. perfect. Thank you. Hot damn. Hey, Bryce. Uh, uh, hey, Bryce. We have yeah, a we, have a, we have a game, right? <laughs> yeah.
yeah, this is kind of a game. You've probably heard of uh, the grammar police or maybe the fashion police. Hell, you've probably even heard of the regular police. <laughs> but today we're taking our... Hold on, play, play it again. No. Uh, <laughs> Bryce, Bryce, I'm going to need you to give it a second take on that. Here All we right, go. Here. You've heard of the grammar police. Fashion no, police. Fucking Jesus, Bryce. Did you not get the memo? It's just word, word, word. <laughs> At MCI WorldCom, we are whatever you want, right? Okay. okay, okay. Here we go. I'm going to spend my own spin on Wait, fuck. Yeah, no, take it back from the, from the beginning, please. Grammar police. Fashion police. Regular police. <laughs> MCI is here to bring a new type of police. <laughs> and it's the opinion police. <laughs> yeah! Shareholders Ooh. worldwide. <laughs> whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the opinion police. <laughs> whoop, whoop. This is a cultural appropriation. <laughs> uh, it's a song. It's a popular Wait, song. You can do uh, it. Uh, 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 does one trump the other? Like, if I get pulled over for speeding, can I go, whoop, whoop? This is the opinion police. What's up? Uh, the cops probably won't get the reference. Probably won't. What if you went? But, but then I could like whoop, pull over that ass is too fat. <laughs> <laughs> sure, here's my license and registration. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you, you got to do the music. Oh fuck! Right. You get oh, pulled okay. over. <laughs> Hold on, somebody's going real fast here. Let me pull him over. Hey, buddy, what are you up to? Whoop! <laughs> I'm sorry. What does that mean? Whoop. <laughs> All right, you need to get a sir, you need to get out of the car. Pull over. That ass is too fat. <laughs> Here I, at MCI WorldCom. What? We're bringing all three together. <laughs> what? In an electric saying that will delight children of all ages <laughs> and keep the dance floor moving. Hi, I'm Justin Robert Young, <laughs> and here's my license and registration. <laughs> You're doing the same thing I did. I'm now a cop. What? I'm I'm a person who's handing you my license and registration. Mm. I'm also in coordination with MCI WorldCam, <laughs> making our world a better place. Okay. I believe it. <sighs> uh. Anyway, so this is a game uh, that I'm calling Vox Unpopuli. It turns out yeah. that there's a subreddit uh, where people post... <laughs> <laughs> Reddits. Hold on. Running. <laughs> This bit <laughs> into the ground. <laughs> Here at MCI WorldCom, we'll beat every strain of humor out of this bit before it eventually annoys no. everybody. You're, you're, you're almost Only there. five minutes ago, it was an electric uh, slice of comedy. A little bit more. Now it's a retread Shh. that's only working everyone's keep, patience. Keep it going, keep it going. Why did I little, do this? A little bit more. Is it anti comedy? <laughs> <laughs> Am I trying to do a thing that's purposely no, not funny, with the point being that eventually it'll be funny? Have I now realized that the only <laughs> way to make it funny is to keep talking? <laughs> At no. MCI WorldCom, yes. we're still trying to find the answer, and it is only when we do <laughs> that we'll be able to rest. Killed in 1845, <laughs> MCI WorldCom haunts this ancient castle, knowing only when the true blood of the newborn is spilled, we'll be able to free ourselves from our corporeal prison. And yet, you found yourself here, Damon Elliot, <laughs> the protagonist da Damon of a Elliot. story that I'm now writing. <laughs> Your uncle gave you a key saying that it belonged to MCI WorldCom. Oh, and yet here we are, Damon, following my tricks and <laughs> trades. You'll find your destiny if you don't die in the process. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. Freak. <laughs> well, here I am, Damon Elliot, alone. <laughs> and seen. Why did somebody say and see? Oh, yeah. I'm MCI WorldCom. I haunt this castle. Damon Elliott, you have to. Who's you have to. Talking? I'm MCI WorldCom. <laughs> okay, hold I on. I haunt this castle. That was the whole bit in <laughs> the beginning. Uh, okay, come, come along, uh, Jerry. There's more characters? <laughs> Yeah. We've already introduced he's, he's, the castle and haunted ghosts. Jerry, You Jerry. want more characters? Jerry, can you hear me? Who are going to play the characters? Jerry. 
Jerry. Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Hold on. Jerry. Are you looking? <laughs> Are you looking for Jerry too? Yeah, I'm also looking for Jerry. My name's Frank. <laughs> Come along, Frank. <laughs> this is fucking improv for... negative 101. <laughs> let's let's go find Jerry. He's somewhere like, in pop, the pop, MCI pop, World pop, Com pop, Castle. Pop. Hold on, let me open this door. Cree. <laughs> Jerry. Where is Jerry? Jerry. Frank, do you know Jerry? Jerry. <laughs> At MCI Worldcom, we've kidnapped Jerry, and we keep him in our dungeon, a dank and musty place that can only be broken into when Frank and unnamed Damon Elliott, sorry. <laughs> When Frank and Damon Elliott can can continue to solve Frank, our riddles. Frank, do me a favor. Feel the walls. Are you feeling the walls? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, okay, good. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, I, I don't know about you, but I, I feel what feels like a leg. Uh, oh, yeah, there's some uh, hair, and I can feel some melanin in yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> let, <laughs> let's... <laughs> Let's you found <laughs> encapsulated Rick James. Uh, That's the first <laughs> riddle. Okay. You are now allowed to enter the dungeon. Encapsulated Rick James. Wow. Will you join us on our quest to find uh, Jerry? No. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. sure. <laughs> oh. Okay. I don't know why that recording said no. <laughs> Let's the three of us go into the next room. Cree. <laughs> There's a lot of us in here. Tick. <laughs> Tack. Toe. <laughs> the classic game of Tic Tac Toe was invented oh so many years ago. Only if you play against me in the most hostile game to audio listeners ever. <laughs> Can you finally free your friend, Jerry? Okay, the question on the board is... Boop, boop, ba-doop. Shoop. No, Agree or it's, disagree? It's tic-tac-toe. Where do you want to put your first Sorry, I'm, do I'm doing uh, uh, Hollywood Squares. I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay, all right. How was uh, that Hollywood Squares? No, no. Okay. no. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you don't doing? disagree with Damon, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Frank. And I don't want to hear shit from you, encapsulated Rick James. I'm Rick James. <laughs> we know. Okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> three, uh, uh, three X's. You've won. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Free. Here's your friend. Jerry's here. The castle is free. <laughs> okay. Jerry, Jerry, Frank, uh, Rick James, gather around. Finally, hey, it's me, our... Jerry. I was in this, I was in this uh, deep dank dungeon. I don't know how the fuck I got here, right. but holy shit, I've been farting like a goddamn pack mule. <laughs> oh fuck! I'm glad you guys got here. Let's leave okay. this bit. <laughs> well, I mean, it's finally you time. Sure? You sure you want to leave this? <laughs> yeah, it's no, fine. I've been tired. I feel like this shit was fucking done a while ago. But and you weren't even here for most of it. <laughs> well, no, but I. <laughs> that three, three. I mean, three now. for Bryce. Three. three for Bryce. Okay, <laughs> Bryce. <laughs> I, we've got a game. <laughs> so there's a subreddit out there for uh, unpopular. Oh, no, we're playing a game. <laughs> we're doing a thing. Got a whole second thing here. Uh, <laughs> we're doing unpopular opinions. I found some of the threads. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, some of the ones that I've pulled here. We're, at the end of that talk, we'll give a thumbs up or thumbs down. And at the end of the night, we're gonna find uh, find the most unpopular opinion. As determined by the people on the show. Yep, got it. Right, would you like the to most to popular with? opinion? I think so, I uh, will. Uh, okay, thank you. I think I will. Th this particular subreddit is kind of infamous for doing things like um, uh, unpopular opinion. Uh, people of all races should be treated with respect. Well, well, I mean that is the thing that happens there. But I think that Bryce, being the has and, actually and, found and, unpopular and, and, and opinions. Chat realm have uh, uh, like they are not rookies. 
All right. on the force. Like they they know where to go to find the dirt. Yeah, the dirt. When it comes <laughs> when it comes to rodeos, it's not their first one. No, yeah. no. Yeah, they've rodeos, been, chat room. They've been. <laughs> To one rodeo. The visual thing. All right. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe don't Biden. Do okay. Don't you. So I'm going to read you um, the the title of the Reddit thread and some of the the information that they posted. And we'll talk about it. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. This is uh, about Trader Joe's. You guys, a tra- anybody go to Trader Joe's much? They're yeah. Things? No, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a grocery store and they have their own products. So if you're looking for like. Brand name products get fucked. get bent get yeah fun. like their unless uh, it's booze they have brand name booze they don't make their own booze yeah I like their two buck chuck and their uh, beaver nuggets oh no that's a different thing that's bucky sorry well, <laughs> I mean I, uh, so, so so what the fuck Dude, what what the fuck is a beaver nugget <laughs> oh, you know what hold on we'll, oh, uh, we'll take this off we'll, we'll, well God damn it we're going back I no. I feel like we 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 all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the hit for this one, Bryce. I'll take the hit for this. Two butt Chuck, Beaver Nuggets, <laughs> Brett Weaver. What do they all have in common? Brett Weaver. <laughs> Hi, I'm MCI World Cup, and this is an interview with Brett Weaver. Yeah. Brett, you first came to prominence by saying Two Buck Chuck and Beaver Nuggets yes. ten minutes ago. Yes. How does that make you feel? I am very regretful. <laughs> I apologize to Bryce. I apologize to the whole channel. Uh, you know, lessons were learned. So, thank you. <laughs> You're Hooray. welcome. Hooray. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Beaver nuggets. Beaver nuggets. They're okay. Uh, so, Trader Joe's. Uh, This is someone who's an unpopular opinion. Trader Joe's is a convenience store masquerading as a grocery store that successfully convinced its rabid customer base that reheating factory processed, factory prepared, and factory packed foods constitutes as cooking. How do we feel about that? Is it overrated? Is it factory junk? It's a dumb shit opinion. Yeah, I'm I'm again it. Uh, Specifically the fact that it's like... uh, they seem to hate factories. Well, no. But, all right. Number one, their initial premise is that it's an overrated convenience store, which Bullshit. convenience stores sell brand name products. That's the point of the convenience is that they're bringing the things that you would like closer to you. The, 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 the benefit of Trader Joe's is literally the opposite, which is you can save money at a, a conveniently located place by buying our products, not it's the total fucking app. Also, and forgive me if I'm off base here, but aren't convenience stores uh, convenient? Well, I mean, like Trader Joe's are like they're they're famous for being located in trendy or urban areas. That Have you like, ever is a waited thing. in a line at a Trader Joe's? Hell yeah, yeah. Have you? Nope. Never. I wouldn't. You never I, saw the ore? <clears throat> They'll have the ore. Like if you're waiting in line and then uh, you're waiting and because they have like all the different things. So it's not like you line up at your own uh, uh, checkout stand. They have one line for all the checkout stands and then they'll have somebody will raise the ore and you'll have to walk down to, to where the ore is. I, 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 I'm certain that they manage lines effectively, but none of this sounds like a convenience store. The whole point of a convenience store is that you go in a sad entrepreneur from a foreign place is. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think I think what this piece of shit who wrote this uh, is trying to say is that a convenience store is a shitty place to buy food. Yeah. And so Trader Joe's is an overgrown shitty place to buy food and that their over reliance on frozen food that they sell is uh, uh, something that is giving people a false sense of culinary respect. In fact, all I'll... of this is gatekeeping and elitist, and they can suck my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the, the, MCI. The, <laughs> the writer continues, uh, yeah, they sell raw meats and produce, but the selection is extremely limited, and the space is dedicated for them. Is comical in comparison to the freezer section. Part of me thinks it's just there to sh- for show to provide the patrons the illusion that they're shopping at a real grocery store. Uh, I I agree that this is a bad take. I I don't know that it's an unpopular opinion though. I mean, do people really have a lot of stringent opinions on Trader Joe's? 
Annalisa, how do you Annalisa, feel about Trader uh, Joe's? Annalisa is shrugging. Yeah, no, I think I think okay. like, I, I, I think I think Jeff, it, like, like, it's 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 uh, says no. Uh, the, the 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 bargain is on the door. Like I I understand people not liking it, but it's not like it pretends to be something else. Is it cheaper than? I I, I, I would say it usually is. If you put a Whole Foods and a Trader Joe's next to each other, you're probably going to get out of there for cheaper than a Whole Foods. Yeah. I don't know if you'd get out there cheaper than a Safeway or a Publix or a Winn-Dixie or something like that. I, I would say you definitely don't get it out of there. H-E-B, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you get out there uh, less expensive than an H-E-B. You would you not. definitely don't get out there faster than you would from a 7-Eleven, though. Well, okay, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So I'm, I'm going to say valid. It's a... It, yeah. It's not a, it's not a, wait, sorry. We're, we're, so, so we're but, either saying thumbs up, I agree that this is a popular opinion, or thumbs down, I disagree that this <laughs> is, in fact, unpopular. Thumbs, I disagree with that. Whatever it is, they're wrong. Yeah. yeah. Boo, we, got boo, four, boo, we got four boo, thumbs boo. down. Wow. Bounce. There we go. Chat, chat room, let us know what you, what you think about this, too. That's going to be pretty hard to beat. Uh, uh, everyone agreeing that it's bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, here, here's, here's another one. How about this? Uh, Crawfish is extremely overrated. But, oh, whoa, I live in whoa, 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 no. whoa, 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 uh whoa, -oh, whoa, uh -oh. <laughs> Hold on, Brett, uh -oh. Brett, Brett, you, you, uh -oh. you, you keep uh -oh. your pants uh -oh. on, uh -oh. keep your shoes uh -oh. on. Jeff, you, you Jeff, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Him on camera? Jeff and Brett are about to have it out. Here, I'll take the camera. I got it. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, Jeff was too busy agreeing with his opinion that he couldn't turn the fucking camera to Brett, who was having a conniption fit. Uh, oh, okay. Hello, Jeff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck them. Uh, uh, I will say what Only my... talk on a microphone, oh, oh, everybody in this room. Please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you you have to finish the unpopular opinion. Okay. Uh, the person continues to write, I live in the South... Just of... kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I live in the South, and every time Everybody's crawfish season that. comes around, I have to hear from everyone how it's the best food to ever grace humanity's lips. Is it good? Sure. It's spicy, savory, and goes great with beer. But the way people talk about and go crazy about it, you'd think it cures cancer. There's literally entire events hosted where the main draw is that's the only is that there's only crawfish to eat and nothing else. I've never seen that done with any other type of food. A popular opinion or nah? Uh, I will say that that is an unpopular opinion. Uh, although... Oh, I do agree that the food crawfish is overrated, much in the way that I think turkey is the worst meat. <laughs> However, the point of a crawfish boil is not to enjoy the greatest food you've ever had. It is to enjoy the event. And the event is, is enhanced by the fact that the boil itself has other shit in it. Look, if crawfish was that fucking good then a boil would just be the fucking crawfish. You wouldn't need the, the veggies. You wouldn't need the sausage. You wouldn't need everything else. You would just be making only the fucking crawfish. But every boil I've been to that I really liked or any restaurant that had crawfish has a bunch of other shit. I really like eating it. I think it's really fucking good. But also, it, it, it's like turkey. And again, I fucking just did a whole thing about how everybody should eat turkey every fucking Thanksgiving and shut up because it's a binding experience. It's not great. Jeff? You want my opinion? Of course yeah, I do. Sure. Uh, yeah. Cameraman Jeff. Crawfish, was, was crawfish. So fired up. We're now on stage. Crawfish <laughs> tastes like fucking butt. Whoa. Dude, okay. It's it's like the butt of the creek that you. <laughs> oh no. All right, all right, all right, Brett. You, what's you interesting have one about go. what's interesting about all of this? Being the only Cajun here. Mm -hmm. Well. And my nephew. Uh -huh. <laughs> May let me tell you about that crawfish. Yeah, uh, I, I I will be the first to admit that this is the food of my people, and I love it. I grew up with it. Oh my god! It You're about fantastic. to agree, aren't you? Uh, no, uh, but I think that the argument that's happening in the unpopular opinion is specious. If you might say it is, is, it is. There's, there's like, so I, like, much. It, it it contains Natasha Henstridge. Yes, yes. It's got that chick from Species in it. No, I, I think what the problem is is I love crawfish, 
and I think it's a delicious food. Uh, wait, wait, wait. And, and it doesn't have to be an event for me to enjoy. It. Okay, all right, all right. And thumbs, I thumbs can up, use thumbs it. Down. And we see that that's. I'm going to say. Well, no. The question is: Is that an unpopular opinion? Yes, that's an unpopular opinion. No, but they, that's, are they right? That's not the question. The question is: Do you agree with this opinion? And the answer is. Fuck no, I okay. don't agree with that opinion. Okay, so you so Brett would give it a thumbs down. Yes. Uh Justin, I did not expect this, but I believe you swayed me in that every time I go to a crawfish boil, I'm always happy to have some crawfish. Yeah. But crawfish is my least favorite. Well, because it's the most work. Like I, 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 every, I, every, every, everything okay. else in in a crawfish what the boil. Fuck, man! I I just agreed with you. No, I'm no, on no, your no, side. No, 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 no. I, I I am further agreeing with us. Yeah. Okay. That, like that. That's the reason why is that it's like everything else is just a succulent little treat that you just go like, oh, let me get a piece of that biscuit. And, yeah, and, yeah. And you're and you're eating it. Num 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 num. Delicious. Uh, crawfish is it, it's its own thing, but that's part of the tradition. That's part of the fun. That being said, eh, every once in a while you're at a crawfish boil and you're like. Boy, wouldn't it be nice if I could just have all the other shit? I just want to eat the potato. Boy. Yeah, just give exactly. me the potato. Let me have that. And 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 as my mother would have said, made that's completely okay. You don't have to eat any of it. Give it all to me. I will eat it. I feel you like- don't have to eat any of it. You don't have to have one bite of it. I'll take it is this, all. Is, is this the beginning of your own Medea play? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, like, that is a visual. <laughs> and my nephew and best friend are now going, oh, Jesus Christ. I swear to God, you're going to be playing fucking Cajun <laughs> churches yeah. up Man, and down let me fucking tell Louisiana. You, I know. You let me tell you about Apple uh, Tree. You got to see Crawfish Mom. Uh, uh, crawfish Mom opening this Friday. Bryce, I am officially giving a thumbs down to this opinion. Okay. I, I feel like uh, they're not bad as, as they're portrayed to be in this in this post. Okay, so you're gonna, uh, so you, you, but you disagree with the, uh, with yeah, the sentiment. Yeah, I, 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 I think that they're a dipshit, but uh, I, I, I agree that crawfish is not great. Oh, yeah. okay, so we got uh, three downs. You're not voting, up. James. Bryce, what <laughs> about you? You know what? I like shrimp better. Yeah. Don't get me started, man. Because no, shrimp, I, shrimp is the shrimp is the. I'm from South Florida. Shrimp no, is the food of my people. I'm, I'm from Virginia, I am, yes. and I agree that shrimp is also delicious. It's just two different things. They are. Yeah, but Although, I'm gonna, that being said, I do wish that there were shrimp boils. We, I, I would, I would eat, I would eat a lot more of those. No, but like, but, but culturally, that the, they're I don't know, he's just having a conversation with me. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. So we have, we have four thumbs up I'm, on the I, first one. Wait, I, I, I'm also gonna say thumbs up to this. I, th- yeah, I think shrimp's better than crawfish. Yeah, I think it makes crawfish overrated. Sorry. Nope, don't be sorry. Just give it all to me. Uh, you're welcome to have it. Yep. Okay, here's one. Crawfish mod, man. I feel like you, you, have, MCI you have just World stumbled Com. upon a fucking the gold retirement life. account. <laughs> <laughs> you in a wig and I've a been trying. I've been like, trying for 35 I'm years. I'm just telling you. This character. We're going to open up. We're going to play <laughs> fucking. We're going to play little rural towns from here to fucking uh, New Orleans and back again. <laughs> Um, you may be that's a, a very short route. <laughs> <laughs> we only got one car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's one. A whole can full of water in your soup is way too much. I'm. Uh, they continue. I'm specifically talking about vegetable soup here. I don't care what you do to your other soups. But another unpopular opinion is that I use water in my tomato. Well, no, no, we're talking about this one. Uh, the instructions say fill the can up with water and put it in soup, but I don't want my soup to be that watery. Some rules are better when they're broken. Okay. We're talking about Campbell's like condensed soup. Yeah. yeah. Which uh, one of the folks I was on the road with did not realize that condensed means you're supposed to add another <laughs> add a lot can of water. water. So they just. <laughs> and I was like, ha, ha, ha. And then I tried it. And I was like. Oh, damn. I was going to say, <laughs> that's your move. You do that now, don't you? <laughs> no, I, I actually agree with this opinion. A hundred and fifty fucking percent. Dude, a half to sometimes a quarter if you're feeling fucking I saucy. mean, just a Whoa. splash. I mean, yeah. to be honest, I just lean over and cry a little bit. I'm like, that's enough. <laughs> Think about that MCI WorldCom commercial. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> My MCI WorldCom stock. Bryce? Um, 
An, uh, I think a whole can is fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree. I think a whole can is fine. Oh, good. I'm gonna get right. Um, right. Brett, what, what about I, you? I uh, like to uh, put a uh, cook it with a a thing of ramen. Uh, it makes a whole meal for less than a dollar. Okay. And so the answer is yes. I think that's it. Should not have. It. Wait. The thing is, I. A what can, the fuck a, are you talking about? What are you ramen? saying? I think concentrated you, just the way it is is just fine. Don't add any you water. You don't add even no water. No water. Don't add any water. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, a, that is a pretty a, po- a pretty popular opinion, it yep. turns out. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. Four uh, up. Or let's, three up. Let's three up, on. one down. Yeah. Uh, let's let, let's try this one. Okay. This is maybe a little deep. Maybe a little deep. Yeah. Finally. The heading is, most people don't know what love is or how to actually love someone properly. <laughs> most uh, people. Go on. Uh, uh, they continue. I wonder what other people think most about- Most people don't know what love is. What's love? Or to love someone properly. Wait, what's the next thing, Bryce? Uh, On the street. I wonder what other people will think about this quote. I wonder what someone will think of this quote. Hey, I, I'd like to tell you what I think about that Hold quote. Hold on, I gotta listen to Bryce. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you love a flower, don't pick it up. If you love a flower, then don't pick it up I'm, now. I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm on lunch break. I only have like I just need to listen to Bryce. Okay, well, I wanted to express Go, how Bryce, much. Jesus. Because if you pick it up, it dies and it ceases to be what you love. <laughs> Cause if you pick it up, then it dies, and you ceases to be what you love. That one was this longer than love. the other. <laughs> All right. Uh, this... uh, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna get going. I've I've got a two o'clock. That's fine. I'll talk All to you later. Okay. I'll talk All to right. You later. So if you love uh, a yeah. flower, let it be. I'll... So if you love a flower, then let it be. Buddy. I'll see you, man. <laughs> Love is not about possession. Hey, tell Greg I said hi. Okay, Love is not a possession. Love is about appreciation. Love is about appreciation. <laughs> what are you? Who's that guy? <laughs> He's my backup singer. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting cooked. It. Bryce, keep going. Fuck. I think this quote is very powerful. I think this quote. Is very oh. powerful. Woo-hoo. Your lunch is over. What Every time doing? I am called by a loved one or a friend for a relationship advice. Hey. Every time I'm called by a loved one or a friend for relationship advice. Uh, oh, I always go back to this quote. I always go back to this quote. It's kind of sad. It's Woo. kind of sad. But I think most people can understand the difference. But I think, wait, what? I think most people can understand. There's the a lot going on right now. Um, yeah, I'm, and I'm breaking it in two for you. <laughs> I think I can feel Brian's dick rubbing against my car oh, keys. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the difference between loving someone and wanting to possess control over them. The difference between loving somebody wow. and wanting to possess control over them. Possession. <laughs> uh, end. End of quote. End of. End of. End of post. And that's the end of the. Post about love. We learned a lot about that guy's thoughts on love. Hey man, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I was—I just got done. Do you want to hang out with Greg? <laughs> no, I'm a new character. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thumbs up, thumbs down. Hey, I, 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 for, I for the record, just, just to like, clean things up, I do think my dick touched just. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me that's not the first time. <laughs> I just love that this fucking podcast has broken so many rules of improv <laughs> that Del Close's ghost just committed suicide. <laughs> Oh. All, All right. right. Thumbs uh, up or thumbs down. Most people don't know what love is or how to actually love someone properly. Do you agree or disagree? Yes, 150%. Maybe. I mean, they're they're not wrong, Walter. They're an asshole. <laughs> so Ooh. thumbs up. Brett, what do you think? Do people uh, know how to love? They don't. No, wow. the, the, the entire concept. I mean, certainly of, this motherfucker doesn't. Yeah, no, well, I mean, that's, like, like, that's what make that's part of what makes it special. I'm it, fucking my it, mom already. <laughs> I broke both my arms. Very few people get this. 
You couldn't. You also had to sing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Most people don't. Okay, everyone, now all y'all are saying yes. I don't know. I feel like love the naturally. I don't know. No, 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 no. So, so the biggest thing that uh, I didn't he, expect he, to be on this trying, side of this debate. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the biggest thing that he is hitting on, I don't think that the the uh, poster really is dialing in on it. Particularly is that you need to love yourself before you can actually love other people. Like you need to have a sense of self. You need to know where you are, or at least have a sense of it that dials into somebody else. Ultimately, love is something that is about a dialogue, and if you don't know where you're broadcasting from, then it's always going to be fucked up. Well, and, and also, it's a challenging thesis to defend that most people don't know how to love. Like, uh, who the fuck are you? <laughs> well, yeah, you want to know what? No, I'm actually down on this guy, then, because you're right. Like, most people don't fucking post shit on the internet or are, like, I'm talking to you. I'm the Pope of love. <laughs> oh, Pope love. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, so, I don't know. You want to know what I flipped on this? Uh, uh, fuck uh, this guy. Okay, there we go. Uh, I, I, mm, yeah, I'm also going to say fuck this. Like, <laughs> let, let's, we did it. There's gonna be two up, two down on that one. Okay, yeah. there we go. We na we nailed it a little bit here. Uh, here's one. Oh boy. Here's a the Reddit thread. By one the way, given everything that's come before, the fact that you said "who boy" to this I one. I know that makes yeah. me really nervous. <laughs> you know what? In fact, I'm not even gonna read the headline on this one. I've loved Paul McCartney since I was like oh. five years old. What the fuck? So I'll admit to being biased here, but he wrote he wrote a really nice little Christmas song like 40 years ago. The melody is easy enough for anyone to sing along to. The keyboards sound cool and the lyrics are straightforward and joyful. It's everything a Christmas song should be. Wonderful Christmas Time is a top tier Christmas song. The night is right. <laughs> the mood is full. Nope. But he knows how to love. This is an Elvis ritual. ritual. That's what it really My is. My heart is full. <laughs> Simply <laughs> having a wonderful <laughs> Christmas time. That's when people are Simply looking. Simply <laughs> having a wonderful <laughs> Christmas time. At MCI World Cup, <laughs> we're having a wonderful <laughs> Christmas time all the time. Except for the time we went bankrupt in one of the biggest scandals ever. <laughs> yes. I mean, that womp, happened womp, once. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> yeah, or FTX. Uh, what do you think? Because I, be I believe there are a couple of wonderful Christmas time haters on this show. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, I count myself among them previously. However, I've derived so much joy from making everyone miserable by referencing the song, because the moment you reference it, it's stuck in their heads. Like every single year, like clockwork on Twitter, I would say, Wonderful Christmas time. Sorry, stuck in your head. And then I'd leave. It's the best. I love it. I mean, there are people right now that are breaking their lives. They are rending their own career in half because they are trying desperately to have something that people care about and remember. They're trying to write a song that people will, will connect with. Hit songs are something that are kind of black magic. Like, there are people that can write one, and then they can never write one again. Paul McCartney wrote a jillion. One of them is Wonderful Christmas Time. Hold on. It doesn't matter that you can't explain the science behind why it's fucking amazing. It just fucking is, and it's still there. And if, people, if it was a bad song, people would stop playing it, because people stop playing bad songs every fucking day, every second that has ever existed in the history of culture. It's a banger, and it's a banger because it keeps getting banged. So here's how good Paul McCartney is. He wrote a song where the title probably should be Holy Shit, a Doorbell. <laughs> and yeah. it was a number one hit. Somebody's ringing a doorbell. What the fuck do we do? Let him in. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. And he's like, uh, yeah, this shit's easy. Like, I, I pressed didn't... one button at a radio shack. Yeah. Womp, womp, he's womp, like, womp, like, womp, like, womp, like, like that, like that song. He's like, like, uh, uh Okay, I can write a song. Uh, somebody's ringing the doorbell. My my favorite is in. where he gets bored of his own songs and just does another song within the song. Yeah. Uh, he's all like, man, uh, I don't know, Sailor Sam and <laughs> Uncle Wham Ray for anyway. That's Admiral Halsley. Song mm. too. Yeah. Brett, what do you bored. think about 
I personally don't like the song, but oh. uh, but but science proves that in this case. Everybody else does. So. Well, no, no, this is no, uh, no, no, no peer pressure. <laughs> yeah. You don't get to jump off the cliff just because everyone else did. Yeah, you no, like no, it no. Or you, not? you can you can say it sucks. My my I mean, my, my, my wait, position uh, is real is quick, that they, Bryce. That, like, of the all the situations, and they literally, this is right. the only I'm game people where you decide. do that does because we're deciding what's a popular <laughs> opinion. <laughs> Yeah, like and we're deciding how popular it is. Is how many people? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but that's but it doesn't matter. But if it's if you're not basing it on your own measurement, then it's not. It's interesting. Uh, uh, no, I don't. Like <laughs> Daniel J. Newman in the chat. I like the songs <laughs> that say the same sentence forty times. Write a verse, you loser. I, I, I you know, nah, Mariah Carey's got an amazing nah, voice. I don't nah, like her song nah, either, nah, nah, so, nah. You know. The way it is. Okay. I, All right. So I, I'm, I'm giving a thumbs down to this. This is bullshit. Oh, well, Brian's thumbs wait. down. Hold on. He says it slaps. It's thumbs up, thumbs up all the way. Yeah, thumbs up. Best song ever. All right. I'm going to say I think it's a great Christmas song. I got no shit on yeah. it. Yeah. Up, up, up thumbs for me. And Brett is giving a solid thumbs down. Uh, you, you really don't like Chris, Wonderful Christmas Time. I, I don't like most Christmas songs, so that would be. Well, but no, it's not a top tier song. It's top tier Christmas song. Don't make, don't make me hit play. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, I do not like this. Okay. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Slightly unpopular opinion there. Yeah. I mean, how many songs can you do literally the first note? And you instantly know. Probably a lot of them, huh? Okay. Name three. Yeah. Okay. That's not one note, but okay. Wait, you went womp, 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 womp. (laughs) Well, it was one note. You're going to go womp, 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 womp. I went banana, banana. Yeah. Well, that w- those were different. Uh, if, 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 I'm not. I'm you not gonna, you're going to come around here, go womp, womp, womp. <clears throat> I'm going to go na 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 na. Womp, 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 womp. See, one na 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 na. So the other one would be, hey, hey, mama. But those That's are many notes. Get the fuck Everybody's, out of here. Bro, we Bryce, tell, tell me you're understanding what I'm pitching here. Somebody oh, wants God, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got the last one here. And, uh, boy, howdy. This one's a doozy. Um. Uh, this is just uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> From uh, I wrote Gold Digger, and I have a lot of opinions about <laughs> our, our final about unpopular who? opinion here. <laughs> could you could you sum them up as a group? <laughs> My husband believes running pizza underwater to cool it down is acceptable. <laughs> Hold on. Visceral reactions from our live chat. To cool it down. He yeah. Pizza <clears throat> scoop? And, uh, Is that what he's trying to do? And it's exactly what you think. He's running it under the tap. What the fuck? And then and then eating it. Um, water pizza. My opinion will not shock you. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. You can't keep getting away with it. No, <laughs> Justin. If he if he says this, you're you're at ground zero. You have to defend the world on this one, Brian. Brian, I want you to choose what, your fucking what's that, words. Justin? <laughs> I want you to choose your uh-huh. words. Yeah. Very okay. Very carefully. You got it. I will. Justin. Brian is not looking at me. <laughs> Brian has turned the opposite direction. I don't know. I, I, I technically I, I'm looking all the way around the world at you. I don't think that. A uh, little uh, more, turn a little bit. There, now you're what? looking all the way around the world. I'm going to rub my dick on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God damn it. Oh, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> my husband leaves running pizza underwater to cool it down is acceptable. What the fuck? Yeah. What? Pretty much what the title says. Not go my ahead. opinion. No, Brian, go ahead. Oh, no. Go ahead. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Is there, is there air? Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, I was just saying, we're here. Make a stand. Water? Bro. Say it. Say it out loud with your words. <sighs> Say your shame. Sometimes pizzas are too hot. Okay. Sometimes they need to be cold. Okay. Okay. Sometimes a pizza does belong in a situation bowl. 
That's why us at MCI World Cup. No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Don't retreat to bits. Don't retreat Don't to bits. Retreat. These bits have no fucking power for you right now. They are uh, dead, inert bits. You're telling me that if you had a fucking boiling hot pizza, that you would run it under a fucking cold tap? Have you run it under a cold tap? My favorite. Yes or no? My favorite. Did you order the code red? <laughs> <laughs> You need people like me. <laughs> uh, uh, I, may, I may have uh, engaged in such an activity. You can't wait five fucking seconds to have this shit cool naturally without uh, poisoning it with weird water, tap have you water. Tried blowing on it. Huh. I mean, are you that scared of the, uh, the, 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 what you're trying to avoid? Is a little is, is the roof of your mouth burning? Uh, well, uh, that and waiting. I mean, so you don't want to burn your mouth, but you also don't want to wait. Yep. And so you will run it under a tap. Yep. When's the last time you did this? No more questions. <laughs> oh, no. Was it within the last year? Look, dude, I eat ramen raw. I, I, I take ramen, I run it under the tap as a but biscuit. But not pizza. And that is as fucking mainstream as the King of Queens compared to this sociopath <laughs> bullshit. I fucking am okay with you eating ramens like crackers all day. I look at that and I think that that's you being a smart person. This is fucking literal sociopath shit. No. Yes. Oh. Like he's, and he's like standing in front of the sink. It's still he's plenty hot. He's not making it cold. It's halfway done. He doesn't have any more bites left. Wait, wait, well, he well, keeps running every bite. He's just he's he's. And meanwhile, you guys are the... dancing around the fucking island in the middle of the kitchen, saying "Uga chaka, Uga chaka." Wait till it gets cold. Uga chaka, Uga chaka. Yeah. This motherfucker's making it cold. He's making shit happen, motherfucker. You're disgust. This show is this is ridiculous. On thin ice. I this show is on thin ice. I agree. This is the best opinion I've heard all night. Oh, my fucking God. Jiminy Criminy. This is... This is Christ. It, j just when you thought you couldn't learn something <laughs> new about People are man. shouting in the chat, unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. What? I can't fucking... You are fucking with the entire structural integrity of that pizza. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I am, I am unironically doing Italian. the Italian fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he I, has I'm gone full Italian. 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 Okay, god damn it. You have the fucking balls. <laughs> you have the goddamn babalones. The cojones. To throw a fucking pizza, a whole piece of pie down under. I need the tap water or I'm a run. This is fucking disgusting. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what else dissolves pizza? Your fucking stomach. Yeah, when you yeah. eat it! After you eat it, you taste it! You fucking lunatic! After you taste I mean, it and eat it! Look, I'm this close to putting it in did a blender. Did you microwave ants? Or, or, or like, like, if you killed squirrels, this is like, this is definitely some shit. This is fucking some real, like, I don't uh, appreciate the sanctity of life shit. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Box me in. <laughs> it's Wait, either, hold it's on. It's you, it's you, either you, become a vigilante yeah. or call you, the cops. It, it makes so, me, uh, fuck it, whatever. It, it, it makes pour me water on your pizza. You win. Yeah. <laughs> there was that moment. Uh, it was a few years ago that I was describing falling asleep while peeing, and you're like, "Why the fuck do you fall asleep during peeing?" I was like, "I was sleepy," and you're like, "Touche." <laughs> Wow. Okay. So, so Brian, you're <laughs> some sloppy steak shit. <laughs> it is incredibly <laughs> sloppy steaks. Holy Slop shit! Slop them up. All right. We need our final thumbs here. Running pizza under hot water, underwater to cool it down is acceptable. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Big thumbs down. down. Wait. Yeah. Thumbs down. Jesus big fucking down. Christ. Brett, uh, Brett's got a big down. Not since eating pizza with a. Fork. I thought that was oh, that oh, no, that, good. That's like that's, a, 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 a fucking Anthony Bourdain would sign off on that before yeah. they're putting it under the goddamn tap. Putting it under the tap. I know. But you know what? <laughs> I br I blame Bryce for this. That's what, what? I do. Damn You're it. the one who picked out this subject. No, no, oh, I no, no, you want to know what? Right I, 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 I think, I think I, I've, I've made peace I with you doing it. This. I've made peace with you doing it. I'm glad. Because I've just realized this. Yes. A heated pizza 
is nature's line to you. Like, oh my God, yes. And it you is. are, you I are waiting trying, a line. You only there's nobody there. To find a way to skip the line that is boiling cheese. And so you. 12 14 a.m. Yes. Alone in the kitchen, me and a boiling hot death pizza. I'm looking up. I see the dogs. I look down at the pizza. I look at my watch. And I'm like, whoa. That is, that is physics's line. Correct. Is heat. And you're like, how can I skip the line? I'll pour water on it. And then I mutter, fuck you, Niels Bohr. And exactly. I put it underneath the yeah. tap. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're still disgusting. Okay. But it's at least I understand you. Horrific. <laughs> I, 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 my goodness. I, <laughs> We thought that was going to be an easy swing, right? <laughs> we thought that was going to be an easy swing. Thank you, Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Daniel J. Newman does ask, why did you cook it? You could just eat it raw. <laughs> exactly. Where? But that's why Brian is a, he is a complex man. He you know is, what? Yeah. In the spirit of true honesty. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to oh, close up yeah. this bit. This no, say it. Oh, no. oh, man. Say it. Very rarely do I bother to heat it up. Of course. No, okay. Of course. Sure. Yeah, but that's pizza. Obviously. It's fine if you're going to eat it because it wait, was. Wait, cold. Wait, wait, you're talking about leftover pizza, not like a, like a DiGiorno's that's like frozen. Oh, he did the wait, shrug. Wait, oh, he wait, shrugged. You eating a frozen DiGiorno's? <laughs> He's shrugging. No. No. It's like a different. No. Like, no. Oh. You've eaten a frozen DiGiorno? I'll eat it on next week's episode. In the chat. No. In the, hey, in the I'll, eat, I'll eat a full frozen pizza next episode. In, yeah, you can't do that. Brian, Easier to chat, find than a Brian salad. Chat it says just eat a lunchable. No, no, yeah. no, no. No, I'm, no. All right, we were talking about pre-recording some Christmas episodes. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to include you eating a frozen pizza. Yeah, just let me put a stick in it so it'll be a pizza cold. I God. can't. Oh, okay, uh, Bryce, is there any like I don't like I, at this I point? The left. We are. We I'm, are. I'm, we are. We are uncovering late, <laughs> late show fucking uh, 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 truths here that I, I don't know if we can uh, handle anymore. I know. I think. I think that's it. Is it. To me, it may not have been the statistical most unpopular, but I think reading the room. Cool, uh, cooling down your wa your pizza with water is the no, most no, no, unpopular. No, 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 The actual winner is Brian is eating a fucking frozen pizza. <laughs> <laughs> the winner's us. We get to enjoy that. That's the actual winner. The actual winner. <laughs> look, because the guy who puts his pizza under the fucking tap water it seems like he's he's a uh, 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 fucking Ronald McDonald compared to this fucking lunatic. You've eaten a... Fr no, right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, 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 Hold on. Like, real quick. On, on this scale... Ronna McDonald is the high point. I was trying to think of the most <laughs> famous food person. And so we don't care. He's Ronald McDonald all the way up here. Is he, is he not? All right, name, name a more famous food person. Emeril Lagasse. Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> no, way, no way he's more famous than Ronald McDonald. Either of them motherfuckers. Alton Brown. <laughs> Bobby Flay. The Fuck Matrix that. movies. That. Crunch. The they Burger King Alton King. Brown in goddamn Taiwan. I went to a fucking, uh, I went to a goddamn McDonald's there. Ronald McDonald was yeah, saying, hey, true. what's up? Yeah. He was saying, hey, what's up? Yeah. Outside the Taiwan McDonald's. Well, not outside the Taiwan. <laughs> Jesus. Well. Hey. But he was just there. He's on a sign or some shit. I don't know. But he was talking That's, to you. But he talked to you in no, Singapore? He talked to me. I, I mean, like, for the <laughs> audio listeners, no, I was, I was, like, like, I was acting like he was on a sign, and he's just like, hey, what's up? Like, he's just making a, a gentle hand wave. <laughs> But there How is the a man. How did there? Brian get away with it? How the fuck did Brian get away with it? He ate He's a frozen pizza. How easy you're fucking distracted, you piece of shit. You sell me down the goddamn river just that easy. Yeah. Still bent. Still bent. Hey, Brett. What, 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 uh, what, uh, uh, if you've got a game, you can please send it in to greatnightpod at gmail.com or anywhere you can see the show uh, notes for wherever you're enjoying this. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my God. Bar in the chat points out very correctly that the night started on the pre-show with Brian saying that he poops bad after eating salad. <laughs> after discovering the fucked up shit that you fucking get away with when the sun goes down. I don't think that it is the salads, my friend. I do not think it is the salads. Brett, what did we learn tonight? <laughs> what have we learned, Brian? <sighs> what have we learned? Oh, 
it's been a great night. I've learned that my boss is a psycho. <laughs> That's what <laughs> I've learned. I've learned that <laughs> that Bryce night. is the bringer of right chaos. No That's what I think. So I, <laughs> and I think that Justin just takes the bit too far. And I love all of you because of this. You know, like a girl that's a hero. Come on. Oh. Justin? Oh, uh, it's Bryce, bring down the music. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> Refrigeration. Technology. Three things that are great about me. I'm MCI Worldcom. And I'll eat your mother. <laughs> Shine on, you crazy diamond. Still a great night. <laughs> and I'm Steamroller. All credit. I'm gonna manhive your steamroller. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>